Okay, Nathan in Iowa, here's your new Washington by President. So I appreciate the order on this. And I'm um, just showing you the transmit frequency here. So we're just going to look at the spectrum analyzer for that. You can see it on the screen. Uh, we're on 27.410 with a 1 kilohertz test tone. So we're really close to being perfect here. We're only like 13 hertz. Now in these, I can't adjust that. So that's just, just what it is. There's no option to to adjust that. So if I if I could, I would. But you're you're so close that it doesn't really matter. And I don't like to say that, but it, it is the truth. Um, here is the frequency on AM. And we'll put a... It's pretty much right on. I can go over to the counter too and show you there. Let's do that. Get a little more resolution there. But if it's all zeros, it really doesn't doesn't factor anything else in there if after the fact if it's all zeros it just kind of rounds it up just like that so 28.41 so that's good so everything is on frequency and well and swell um, I did align this for you for no extra charge um, and I have the Mars enabled so I have the span on so you can pretty much go anywhere you want in the radio just by using the span if you don't like that, you can go back to the band format. Just shut the span off in the menu. I, I prefer to use these on the span setting. There's your Mars enabled, so you have everything, everything here that you may want to use. Doesn't matter what this ever says or this. If you're using span, you just look at the counter. I wish I wish when the span setting was on, this would replace all this. That would be a much better way to go about it but unfortunately they didn't do that okay so now we're going to look at the power on am so it's about 16 on the dead key and then when i speak into the microphone it's going to be at least four times the carrier if not more so i did adjust your am mod depth up a little bit on the radio so it's well around 100% on all power levels, so you should be good there. Um, you know, it is kind of a misconception that you need to have more, and you know, unfortunately in this hobby, there's still those that have the impression that you should have like a, a one watt carrier and swing the full amount of the radio, and that's just unfortunately not the case of how things should work, but you know, hopefully, uh, those guys that you know want that they get a radio from I think someone else that offers that kind of service because it's definitely not something I want to partake in nor do I really want to deal with those kind of radios because there are a lot of those radios on the market and when you don't adjust them properly they will yield those kind of results which is unfortunate but that's just what we're dealing with still in the hobby but um, these radios are very professional in the way that they're designed and how they're made and uh, how they how they operate so you know it's a real nice quality sound out of these and many others that incorporate these kind of chassis so you can be pretty proud that when you take this on the airwaves you're going to have a nice clear and clean signal and not have to worry about uh you know unnecessary interference and stuff like that because they just won't do it you know they're not designed to do that <clears throat> this is sideband by the way so one thing to point out with me making the alignment adjustment you're not going to get the full deflection on the RF meter and that's because the signal is much cleaner and the RF meter was uh, calibrated at the factory for power only and what I mean by that is that third order intermodulation distortion product was very high on this radio so it was about a 14, 15, and now it's about a 30. So I've, I've removed it to the point of where it's non-existent, you know, which is outstanding. So you're still seeing good power out of the radio. I mean, we're, we're talking this is an 80-watt radio. And there's quite a few times where when I'm speaking, the, the radio is going to 80. So it's nothing to be concerned with. If anything, I think this radio will work much better. Uh, hand in hand versus a guy that's running like one that just came out of the box and maybe somebody did the Mars conversion and that's it so you know only time will tell um, 
that kind of thing but I, I'm a strong believer that a clean radio just out talks the the dirtier radio hands down and maybe locally it's a little bit different but long distance when the signal is traveling on the frequency the power is riding the frequency long distance the power remains if you're spreading out then over over a longer distance the power is vacated so a lot of you guys understand that and I don't have to continually explain it but you know it is what it is at a certain point you know the cleaner radio is the, definitely the better way to go so I think we're all good here and um, get this one ready to send off to you Nathan so appreciate your order and hope you enjoy it when you get it 73